And right now at noon, the Nebraska Supreme Court is set to make a ruling on whether people with felony convictions can vote. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McClune joins us live after the hearing in Lincoln this morning. Yeah, Waverly, the Supreme Court set to decide on the constitutionality of the Nebraska G Attorney General's opinion on a new law that allows people with prior felony convictions to vote starting this November. Since 2005, people with a past felony convictions could vote two years after completing all terms of their sentence, but the legislature passed a new law that removed that two-year wait. That's when the state's attorney general declared anyone with a felony offense unable to vote in Nebraska until they're cleared by the state's board of pardons, which is rare to come by in this state. Opposing sides attended the hearing in Lincoln this morning. The state board of pardons includes Republicans attorney general Mike Hilgers and Secretary of State Bob Evnen. Whatever the court decides, that's what I'm going to do. We believe in the rule of law. The court's going to decide this issue, and whatever their decision is, we're going to follow that decision. It's a, a huge election coming up, and, and we, we have to do what we got to do to get people registered to vote and get them out there. There's the bill's author, Senator Justin Wayne of North Omaha, walking out of court with the State Attorney General Mike Hilgers this morning in Lincoln. The ACLU also speaking out on this issue, saying a denial would disenfranchise an estimated 7,000 Nebraskans, as well as tens of thousands who already have their voting rights restored since another law was passed in 2005. No word yet on how soon we could hear a ruling from the court. Waverly, back to you.